For a while, it has been very little known on how intercepting two video chat calls and have two people thinking that they're talking with one another is even possible to the point most would say that it's a hack when in reality, it's nothing more than a man in the middle technique and no hack is involved. So not only will you learn how to perform this man in the middle interception technique, but you will also learn the history and the basics plus more and even spotting other middleman interceptors and to better protect yourself from DDoS attacks and IP grabbing to reveal your location. So here it is. Ever since I figured out how to perform this interception technique, similar to the YouTube streamer called Hyphonics is known for, there has been quite a number of people that have reached out to me asking me how I did it, and even been mentioned on a Cyberfish news article that led to a Reddit post asking what software is being used. So to get this out of the way, here is what has been used to perform this technique. You'll need regular OBS from the official website. Instead of Streamlabs OBS, you'll also need OBS Virtual Cam plugin. And don't forget VB Audio Software Voice Meter for the audio aspect. A virtual private network or VPN is very essential in order to be able to use this website for long periods of time to prevent getting banned. So get a VPN outside of the 14i to prevent your private data from being collected. Avoid free VPNs like Ola for that same reason. For the audio aspect, click on start, then click on the gear icon, select systems, then sound, and set both inputs and output defaults to voice meter VIO. Or in case that doesn't work, go to control panel, select sound, and set voice meter input as playback default. Do the same with recording, click OK, and open voice meter. Go to hardware input, look for the mic for the second one. Select Select the virtual audio cable and for A2, select KSVB audio point and your audio output for A1. Make sure both A's are disabled for hardware outputs and B disabled for virtual input and make any other adjustments needed. Now with that out of the way, let's go and open OBS, then select new profile, enter a name, press OK, then press the plus, go to window capture, and after that, give it a name, anything will do, and you're going to have to make sure your web browser is open in order for it to be shown on the list. So open your web browser, in my case I'm using Brave. Now I recommend going to private window, just go to the website, after that select that window, press OK. And now it is visible. Press OK. Before we start going to Omega to allow the webcam and mic, we need to go back to the source. Now go to scene, then press plus, add virtual cam, and activate it. Just the first one will do. And press OK. Now for browser, let's go to filter. Let's add crop pad press ok and make all the necessary adjustments until you get everything just right with no border showing and also resize the window and place it and then allow the webcam however we're not done here just yet we need to go back and open a second tab and also open a second OBS program and add a second scene. Name it anything and press OK. Now let's right click and repeat the process but instead search for the other browser. And to make it a lot easier I suggest you don't get on Omega right away but when you're done then you can 
get on it. And of course, repeat the process until you get it working. Make sure to enable one of the unused virtual cams from the list, like OBS Camera 2, to not confuse them. Now, you're gonna have to open one of them, and after that you manage, then you go find the right one, go back, and press start on video until you see this. However, there's more adjustments that needs to be done so you may have to go back and make every possible necessary adjustments until it looks good enough to be able to start. So yeah, this is going to be a process and you may have to do other things like open up for the second browser for scene 2 and make sure everything is lined up correctly. Alright, now, once that's all done, both should be able to see each other, much like this. And once that's out of the way, we can now go to the next step. Like, to make anything appear. For instance, we're going to open Cube 2 Sour Bratton for this demonstration, so definitely go add another source and select that particular source, like what we're going to do here. So let's go and make a few more adjustments. And if you have to, just move stuff. So in our case, we, d we did that, we select the game, capture a cursor, or just remove that, and adjust it until it fits the screen. So. This should look like that, and we're good. At the time of this recording, I had to go back several times to make more adjustments, cause I've also noticed some bits of flaws here and there, and you may have to do that on your end in order to get the settings you want, but make sure they're on both OBS windows so both people can see them. It would also make your life easier to add key bindings to turn on and turn off any particular source rather than clicking on the eye icon to show and hide every time, like how I'm doing. Last detail, make sure Virtual Cam 1 is detected on one browser and the second one on the other until you see your mouse appear to the other window. Uh, All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Anybody hear me? Testing, testing. And do this, and that works. And this is what they see. And of course, people are going to skip, so don't expect a lot. And that is how you do the Omega Inception. He's still loading though. Because he's doing it. Oh, he's doing that. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to be mysterious. You can see it because it's kind what? of, it's kind he's of like, it, the, yeah, you can see that. <laughs> it's too worth it. Like, we're not stupid. Like, <laughs> All right. what's up, cutie? I'm done here. <laughs> However, we're not done just yet. To make it a lot easier for no one to suspect that they're being intercepted, you can remove the watermark on both ends, but if you try to delete it using spec elements, so even if you did press next, it'll simply come back. And as you can see, even and if as you can see, to unspec yeah. element, the Omega logo will still show. So there's not really much you can do about that. Anyways, that's just a, a quick demonstration. Demonstration for what? Now, right click and select inspect element. Then look for a icon that resembles a mouse clicking on an object of some sort. And then select that object, which would be the watermark. Once selected, set the opacity or transparency to zero. So now you can click next without the watermark appearing again. You may have to repeat this every time you open a tab or refresh. 
there's a good chance you'll come across another person intercepting the call. So one of the ways you can tell is by looking at the corners of the screen and other times if you just look close enough you'll notice some borders that might give it away. And also keep in mind that the normal speed should look like this and the interceptor's loading screen looks slightly delayed so that would be a hint. I'm very well aware that I have not invented this method, nor claimed to be the first, but I did demonstrate a more detailed approach on recreating this middleman technique. So depending on the way this has been set up, it may differ with what kind of device thing, or you're planning to get reactions by scaring some people, or even going as far as not showing anything and only have the two screens facing together. I do not condone any kind of malicious use of this method, and always be careful on what you share or send because you'll never know who would be behind that screen until it is too late so use at your own risk till then this is lr7 not taking any responsibility for the damage being done and logging out free trial you ruined everything i built free trial you know that you know free trial bruh